us, so unbeaten in three tricky away games recently, but we're back home, so I guess there must be a bit of confidence about the team at the moment. Uh, I think we've um, we've always been confident. We've we, we've we've performed pretty well, and I know I've said to you a couple of times that I think um, even like the games where we weren't winning games, and, and and I thought we played pretty well, and I think we've been a little bit unlucky in some cases. So, like going going back a, going back a bit of time, I thought we've done quite well. Um, we finally getting the results, which obviously is the most important thing. And our way, our way form certainly on the road we've been really good. Um, we, we're certainly near the top of the away table, which is which is positive. Um, but we have to turn our home form. Our home form in in in, a, in, a, in the time I've been at this club hasn't been good enough. Uh, the home form in in my time since coming in hasn't been good enough. Um, so we need to we need to try and turn it and. I, th- I think I think it, there's a bit of a mixture of things. We've we we've played some good teams at home in my period here, but we've also played teams who've come and sat back against us and sort of countered us and and caught out caught us out a little bit. And we've been a little naive and um in certainly how we've played and, and made some big mistakes. So there are things that we can fix. So we need to fix it. We want to fix it and we want to start 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 by start with a positive result against all of them. Picking your brains a little bit about this then you know not just in terms of our team but is, is there a bit of a difference between playing at home and away then so we like to press um i think i think i've been pretty clear with with coming in and i'm always going to be that sort of that way inclined i want to press and i want my my players to i don't i don't, I don't think it's necessarily all about running but running is an absolute bare minimum um so our running stats and, and how we've we've performed with that day has is really really positive. Um, so when we're away from home and we spend less time without the ball, um, it makes life a little bit easier because we can press, we can play on the counter. We've got good players who can play on the counter, and when we do get the ball, we can we can certainly keep the ball in, in key moments. So it works pretty well for us with, for us away from home for that reason. Um, at home is a little bit different. Um, it's not as counties aside we. We have a lot more of the ball, even even at walking at home, we have a lot more of the ball. So so we need to make sure that when we're keeping the ball and or if we're keeping the ball, we need to make sure that we're dominating games and when and we're we're not susceptible to sort of transitions and, and getting caught on the counter really. And well, let's talk about our recruitment. Obviously we're getting towards the end of January. I know that doesn't mean that much in this division, but you know, our our signings that we have made this this January have, have really come in and done really well, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, they're good players. Like, I, I wanted to, I wanted to bring in some some players who could could fit in with our philosophy. That was the most important thing. And by philosophy, I mean like hard work and, I mean, um, good on the ball. And we wanted people who could come and come and have goals. I, I thought we were like centrally in midfield. Um, I think that's not saying we weren't good enough. I just thought, thought we didn't have enough bodies. Um, I'm a big believer that that it's, a, it's an important part of the pitch, and and you get your centre midfield right and. You get the you get the right, the right amount of people in there that we can we can certainly dominate games with and without the ball, um. So that was one of, certainly one of the things we highlighted. Certainly with Frank going back to Knox County as well, um. So bringing Ollie in was that was that person, and obviously Croy's coming in and just thought really highly about Croy. Croy 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 looks like he's played the game for years, and but he has, but looks like he's played. You wouldn't think that's his second senior appearance of the day. So he looks like he's been uh, he, he's a sort of like seasoned vet. Um, so he's been brilliant. Um, then you've got uh, obviously Peter's coming in, who's maybe probably not played as much, and, and obviously Jake, who who must be disappointed and not have played after scoring against Bromley. And um, so we've got lots of options. Um, it's it's a real energy about the side, and there's a real sort of uh, positivity in terms of how we can play with the young side. Like we we can get man for man, and we can really get at teams, and we can be really aggressive in our pressing. So all those things are really really positive. Um, they're young players though, they're going to make mistakes, they're going to be inconsistent and, and whatnot and we need to make sure we manage that and we need to make sure we manage them uh, within our side. Obviously the hero of Tuesday, it was a brilliant team performance obviously but the hero of Tuesday, Innie, got a hat-trick, I mean, he's, he's in really good form at the moment isn't he? He is yeah, I mean, I mean it's like 10 and 9 or something I think, um, uh, obviously he's got, like I said, he's got Jake Braven down his shoulders which, mm. which, which must be, uh, which must be really... Um, uh, a real positive thing for him. Want to push him on. Um, then you've got like obviously Tommy coming back from injury and Justin. So 
there's, 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 we, we, we've worked really hard on getting him in the box and worked really hard on, and he's worked really hard on, on sort of, he's getting into them moments and getting into them positions. So hopefully it's going to prove more dividends and he's been really, really good the last few games. Look, everyone's been brilliant the last few games. I think there was like, there was a bit where we were pressing so hard in the last sort of like four or five minutes against Maidstone and stuff like that. It's great to see three and a up, five minutes left. We don't have to do that, but that's the ethic we've got and, and that's the mindset they have. And I think the important thing is, like I said, we, we take them into our home games. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.